you know, there is all this talk about free speech, about hate speech, about this, that, the other. Speech is like the big thing, right? And, you know, what people say, you know, how can I put it? People are trying to silence others. They want to use big tech platforms, you know, Twitter, Google, Facebook, whatever, YouTube, all the rest of it, to silence people. And when people say something, they are silenced. I mean, if they say something that's unapproved, they are silenced. Mm -hmm. This is a completely wrong approach to free speech. It is a completely wrong approach. And let me explain. We shouldn't be worrying about what people say. We should be worrying about what people hear, how they hear. You see, I'm on um, Twitter, right? And I follow a bunch of people. I follow them because that's my interest. And because of my various interests, you know, I hear some people, but I don't hear others. There are some people on Twitter who advocate, say, I don't know, flat earth, but the earth is flat. <laughs> I've always been amused by that. And sometimes as a lark, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, the earth is flat. But of course, I don't believe that. And of course, I don't follow the fools who, who espouse such a ridiculous notion, right? And then I find it funny, but I don't listen to them, is my point. I choose not to listen to them. I choose not to follow them. If they want to say that the earth is flat, fine, no problem. But I don't want to hear them. And so it's not that I want to silence them. I just want to turn my ear away from them. You see? And that's a very different approach. There are lots of things that I don't want to hear. For instance, I don't want to hear about uh, macrame. I actually don't quite know what macrame is. I know it's some sort of hobby that a lot of women do, but I'm not exactly sure. Is it like a kind of knitting? Whatever the hell macrame is, I don't want to hear about it, okay? I don't have anything against the people who like macrame. I don't want to silence them. And they can have their little clubs and whatever and talk about macrame till the cows come home. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't want to hear it. Do you see? I want to have the power to not listen to the macrame people, who I am sure are lovely people, but I don't want to hear them because my time is limited and I have other interests and macrame ain't one of them. And so I decide not to hear the macrame ladies. Again, not because they're bad women. I'm sure they are adorable. You know? And I'm sure that I've actually, you know, some grandmother or, or, you know, somebody, an aunt or somebody must have made something with macrame and given it to me. I should have thanked them more, perhaps. But I don't want to hear about it because I don't give a shit about it. You see my point? I should have the power to silence the macrame ladies and not silence them. Let me rephrase that. I should have the power to not have to listen to them. I should have the power to not have to listen to people who are espousing flat earth nonsense. I should have the power to not listen to people who say that veganism is great. Do I want to silence people who are vegans? No, I do not. I just don't want to have to listen to them. And so there you start thinking to yourself, oh, it's an issue of the volume and whether a person must listen to something or can turn down the volume and ignore it. And that's very different. My thinking is that we should allow everybody to say whatever they want, and each of us should have the ability to turn down the volume on any one of these multiple conversations. If somebody wants to go on YouTube and say that, you know, uh, National Socialism is really great, and, uh, you know, old Uncle Adolf was the best ever. Fine. Let them. I don't care. You know? If they want to deny historical reality, fine. Let them. I'm not going to listen to them. And that's the point. It should be the individual's decision whether they listen to somebody or, or uh, not. It should not be the government's decision whether I hear about something else or not or a corporation's decision whether I hear about something or not. Let's take the macrame example. I don't want to hear about macrame. And macrame, of course, is not controversial, so that's why I'm picking that particular topic. Now, should the government silence the macrame people? No, of course not. That would be wrong. Should a corporation silence the macrame people? Of course not. That would be wrong. Should I silence the macrame people in my feed of information? Yes, of course, because I'm not interested in macrame. It's my decision. And if somebody says something horrible, that, you know, for instance, you know, that uh, 
all um, all men with uh, orange baseball caps and gray t-shirts should be, you know, thrown out of the window. I'm going to turn down the volume on that particular content. I don't like it. It bothers me. It offends me because, you know, I'm very partial to my orange cap. But, you know, me silencing him or me refusing to listen to him are two very different things. And so far as those people claiming that we have to silence hate speech, first of all, there's no such thing as hate speech. The United States Supreme Court in a 9-0 decision said that there's no such thing as hate speech because there isn't. I mean, look it up. It's the Tan decision. In 9 to 0, the Supreme Court uh, justices said that there is no such thing as hate speech. The very notion of hate speech is an arbitrary limitation because ultimately it goes back to the original problem. Who defines what is hate speech? You? Me? I could say that macrame is hate speech. That anybody talking about macrame is in, in you know, is uh, using hate speech. You know, knitting the macrame thing is this hate speech. Oh! So we should silence everybody who talks about macrame. You see the point. Because there is no possibility of defining what is hate speech and what is not. There are certain speeches that can be easily defined, like, for instance, incitement, for instance, libel or slander. If I say something that, or write something that is libelous or slanderous, it's very easy. If I say that you, for instance, if I say or write that you are a um, ten-legged insectoid being that's trying to conquer the earth, hope that you're not a ten-legged individual who's uh, insectoid who's trying to con conquer the earth but the serious point that is obviously false that's libel or slander depending on whether I say it or write it and that of course is prohibited just as I can't say that for instance you you have uh, you yourself have stolen uh, uh, you know a billion dollars from the federal government that's again libelous or slanderous depending if it's written or spoken but you see my point such speech is prohibited. It's not hate speech. It's libel or slander. And me yelling fire in a crowded theater, incitement, that also is prohibited. And there's never been any kind of discussion about it or any controversy about it particularly. It's the issue of hate speech. There is no such thing as hate speech. And so you arguing that there is, you're creating an artificial category so that you can silence everybody that you don't like. And the simple example that counteracts that is, I hate people who talk about macrame, and therefore macrame is hate speech, and therefore everybody who talks about macrame should be silenced. There we go. You, you see, it's not an issue of silencing people who speak. It's the ability to not listen. That should be the basis of free speech. If I must hear somebody that I don't want to, that would be a violation. But if I have the ability to, is to simply ignore it, I wanted to say silence, I almost said silence, but it's not that I want to silence them, I don't want to hear it. And that should be the basis of this free speech discussion. It doesn't matter what people say, let them, let them say everything. The more you try to limit it, the harder it becomes. And also, when you try to limit what people say, you're basically giving to the government or to the corporations the abil your ability, your individual ability to ignore stuff. If the government silences the macrame people, you will never hear about the macrame people. I, I don't want to hear about them ever, because, you know, macrame, ew. What about you? Maybe you're interested in macrame. Maybe it's something that really appeals to you. Or maybe it's something that you want to learn because you know, you're know you studying the history of macrame and you're getting a PhD doctorate in the history of macrame or something crazy like that, right? And so you want to talk to people who are interested in macrame, but you, know, you don't even know they exist because they've been silenced by the government or by the corporations. That is why we should not be focused on what people say we should be focused on our ability to not listen, to ignore. That's the right we should be protecting. And we should not even be bothering with preventing people from speaking their mind.